deeply confused as to why Steph should be balancing on a chair in his car. Anyway, there we have the sausage-free car, uh, sausage-free car, the sausage tree pride and all their magnificence. The lioness came up, joined the rest, they've all joined up together. And I will tell you that the lioness who came up here looked pretty peckish to me, pretty thin around the belly. So, we should have quite an interesting evening ahead of us, especially as I think it's going to get dark earlier than normal on account of the fact that there is quite a lot of cloud about the place. Now, as you look at them, I was just checking a few tweeties while I was uh, sitting waiting for you to come across me. Uh, someone called Why Palm Tree said, where did I get the beautiful British flag that I have on my wrist? Um, uh, why palm tree? It is not a British flag at all, it is Kenyan. And it was applied to me by a fellow called Eurobond. And I say applied to me because that's what happened. He uh, attacked me, grabbed my arm, put some soap on the hand and then shoved this thing on and it will not ever come off again. So it is a Kenyan flag and uh, many people wear them around these parts. I quite like it. I'm not a big jewellery wearer myself, but I think I'll keep this for the next little while. Thank you, Why Palm, why palm Tree. Let's go back to the lions, which are sniffing the air for things to eat, but they are sniffing the wrong way, so she, perhaps she's looking. They're all, the both lionesses are very intent, and specifically it would seem on those topi. But the topi is still quite a long way off. You can see how skinny she is. She's not looking very full at all, which is great news for us. Not so good if you happen to be a topi zebra or water hog. Riti, you're wondering about the use of the tuft of the lion's tail, what it's for. Riti, we think, like just about every other unusual looking thing on the back end of an animal, we think it is a following mechanism. We think it allows the cubs to follow their mothers through long grass, and we think it allows different members of a hunting party to follow each other through the long grass. And the best way for this to be illustrated is, if you stick with us, Riti, when we go into infrared, you'll be amazed at how that black back of the ear and the black tail tip sticks out in amongst the grass. And lions don't quite see in infrared, but they do see in very little color. And I think what you'll find is that the amount of contrast that we're able to suck out of the camera using infrared is quite similar to what they can see. And so I think it gives quite a nice indication of how obvious the back of the ears, which are black, of course, and the black pom-pom are when they are on the hunt or when the little cubs are trying to follow them. That especially goes, of course, for the night time. All right, I'm most pleased to find that Steph is apparently sitting with the hyena cubs all the way down in South Africa. I haven't seen them for so very long and I look forward to seeing them, well, not in the not too distant future. <laughs>